All right, so rumor has it that a very popular, commonly used wax in the candle industry, not just by hobbyists and small businesses, but also by large candle companies as well, is going away. So is that true? We're going to talk about that as well as a few other announcements I have to share. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Wade here with Black Tie Barn. It has been a minute since I posted a video, actually probably about three weeks. That's not normal. I normally do at least one a week, sometimes twice a week. But as many of you know, and I'm going to touch on that in this video, is that I've been opening a new store and that is where I'm at right now. It is actually in the middle of a soft opening, which again, I will go into a little bit detail here in just a few minutes, as well as a couple other announcements. But before we get to that, First of all, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you are new to the channel, please hit subscribe below if you're interested in any more about candle making, running a candle business, any other related handcrafted small business, or just uh, like to be part of these videos and part of the community and find it interesting. I share a lot about making products as well as running a business. So, all right, so let's start with this rumor about a very popular wax. So that wax is ProBlend 600, which is sold from the Flaming Candle Company, but it has other alias counterparts as well. And uh, there's been a lot of concern. There's been some rumors that that wax is going away. Um, it kind of came shocking to me when I first heard that, but it has been getting thrown around in some candle making Facebook groups. So being a very popular wax, not only was that shocking to hear, but I frequently use that wax as well. Um, I use several different materials, but that is one that I frequently talk about. In fact, I use it in most of my testing videos. So I was personally very eager to dive into this a little bit more, but also wanted to look out for the rest of you as well. So I did just that. I spoke with uh, the distributors, suppliers, and the manufacturer of the wax and can safely tell you and confirm that no, it is not going anywhere. It is a very common wax in the industry, which I've said a few times now, um, it is not going anywhere. Uh, this is both from manufacturers and suppliers' mouths. This is simply just a rumor. I'm not sure what started the rumor. I'm not sure why, but we all know how one thing can spread across communities and groups like that. So I just wanted to address that concern because I've been asked directly about it now several times in the past couple of days, uh, which is just had me kind of like, kind of worried myself, like what, what's going on here? So um, yeah, I can reassure you that I was, it was confirmed to me that it's not going anywhere. So with that being said and out of the way, if that's all you were here for this video, then you can check on out, no hard feelings. But if you're interested in a few other announcements, stick around, it won't take long. The first thing, as I touched on before, is the store opening. I'm in the middle of a soft open, which in other words, was to test out the checkout process, um, test out the workflow of how things were moving in the store, traffic, give a chance to train some new staff. I've got three new staff that are gonna be working here in this building. And uh, just wanted to iron out any little kinks that come up like you would when you open a new store. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the footage here, uh, kind of showing you around. It is fairly open right now and there's not a whole lot in here. I mean, there is plenty of product, but it is kind of spread out part quite a bit. So uh, there's gonna be a lot more product coming, not just candles, but other products as well. There'll be more shelving. Uh, there definitely will be more decor up on the walls, on the floor, in some of the overhead uh, cabinets. Those are all pretty bare right now because again, it is just a soft opening. It's not really publicly open. Although if someone from the public just walked in while it was open, it would be fine. Uh, but it was marketed only really to friends and family just to let them know that there was a soft open. Feel free to come on by. Let's touch, you know, test things out and see how things run. Um, maybe get some feedback. Make sure just everything kind of went smoothly. Um, it did go very smoothly. Uh, again, it's lower traffic than you would expect once you're open normally, but it still went pretty smooth. That being said, in the next week and a half, maybe week or week and a half after this video gets posted, um, I will be doing a grand opening. Uh, that is, as of right now, is set for September 16th. It's a Saturday. And then uh, I'll be really having a grand opening for about three weeks, about a, about a month. Um, it'll, it'll be in that grand opening phase. So I'm getting new signage that will be outside, a bunch of flags and, and banners or whatever, just saying grand opening or we're open now, just to grab a lot more attention from the street as you drive by. Right now it's pretty basic. Uh, I'm not trying to get a lot of public in at the moment. So, although again, that might change here soon. Um, I need to start doing some more public marketing, advertising. I have done zero of that to this point. Um, again, that was pretty intentional, but at the same time, yeah, could have started that a little sooner. But either way, working on that, I'm working on getting with the local chamber of commerce. I'm working on uh, tinkering with some different Facebook and Google ads, uh, locally targeted, obviously. And uh, yeah, just working on some basic things like that. Uh, maybe some uh, newsletter or emails uh, to go out locally as well. 
uh, Chamber of Commerce will help with that. So if you're interested in, in starting up a store or a gift shop, these are the kind of things you want to think about think about doing. I would uh, highly recommend doing a soft opening, work out some of these kinks and, and make sure things go smoothly before you just open to everyone. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, I will certainly be doing a video detailing the entire store opening, the development, start to finish, what it looked like before. This building looks entirely different than it did uh, when I first started. So I'm gonna show you that whole thing and a whole video dedicated strictly to designing and opening the store from scratch. But for now, this is just an overview highlight of, of the soft opening. Uh, you will see some dead spaces that they're going to be product. There's just not a lot of product yet. Um, you will see some photos of, of shelves that aren't quite full, but there will be more. Um, there's going to be some uh, seasonal type displays out on the floor itself as well, so that will be filled up. Uh, there will be more on the walls. You'll see some pictures of uh, Logan, uh, Izzy, uh, both of those have already been working here. And then my oldest son, Noah, is going to be working on Thursdays and Fridays from noon to six. Uh, he is a senior, block scheduling, so he's able to work a few hours those two days. So uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan with the store. And uh, thank you guys for kind of following along as we were developing this and, and checking in and see how things were going. And again, I'll give you a much more detailed uh, walkthrough, breakdown, just start to finish. It, it'll be fun. I think it'll be a fun video. So I will uh, definitely keep you posted when that happens. Two other quick things that I wanted to mention. One is I am starting back up some consultations, one-on-one -on -one consults. I have not been doing those for about a year and a half. I got too busy. Frankly, I'm still too busy, but at the, I, I just want to get back to doing them. So I'm going to be having uh, some links go out on my website as well as in some of the Facebook groups, the one I run in particular. Uh, also in the video, uh, the, below this video and other videos, you will see a link to my one-on-one -on -one consults. I'll probably do a 30-minute option and an hour option. I am tinkering with different systems to use that kind of uh, allow you to book so I don't overbook um, and book upon my availability as well as take payment that way as well. So um, I don't have all the details worked out while I'm recording this video, but they will be by the time I post it. So if that is something that interests you, and you are uh, wanting to book a consultation with me one-on-one, -on -one, we can talk about candle making specifically or parts of running a candle business, different materials, that kind of thing. Um, in During the booking process, I will ask you to detail at least some of the things you want to talk about so that I know it's a good fit. So it's something I, I actually can be helpful with uh, because I don't want to take on a consult on very specific things that maybe I don't have any experience on or in because um, I want to be respectful of your time and your money, obviously. So um that is coming so be on the lookout for that and i'll probably only have a few openings a week because i am very very busy but i wanted to at least start doing some so many of you've been asking me about that to let you know when it was coming that's what i'm doing now so it is coming soon and hopefully you guys enjoy that opportunity it is totally optional obviously um, but it's there if you want to use it and then last but not least as you know i sell premier 700 wicks i've been selling them since january basically um, they've done very, very well. Most of you guys that use them love those wicks. They are a great wick. I've been using them for a dozen years. Um, like all wicks, they work better with some waxes than others. They've got plenty of sizes. You guys know all about the Premier Wick. So if you're interested in trying those, they are on the website. But the reason I'm bringing them up is I am tinkering with the idea of starting to sell some other wicks. I started with Premier 700 wicks because I use so many of them and I was already buying thousands and tens of thousands. So uh, that's what got me kind of kickstarted. But I've been getting a lot of requests to start carrying some other wicks as well. So if that is something you would like me to do, I can start doing that pretty soon. So if it is, let me know in the comments section, yes or no, I should sell more wick types. And if so, go ahead and list some of the options um, for the wick types you want me to sell. I won't be able to sell them all right away, but I will be looking to add maybe two or three to get going. Um, you know, eco, CD, CD, and potentially something like that. So it'll really kind of based on the feedback I get. So with that being said, that's really it for this video. If you guys appreciated this video and just to show some support, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in future videos. Really appreciate you all being here. Really appreciate all the support. Stay tuned for future videos because I'm hoping to get those rolling again here uh, much more frequent uh, here soon. So thanks again and I'll talk to you all next time.